Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Today is Wednesday. I'm normally here at 6 o'clock, but I decided to come on early. Um, I got off a little bit early, so I wanted to get this um, started and everything. So hopefully we'll get some people on here. I did send out a telegram, so the 17 people that are on there hopefully got that message and will be on here. Um, I'm going to do a Memorial Day craft today, so hopefully... Y'all will enjoy that. I've got some paint on here. And if you don't mix your paint up real good, it kind of makes a funny, I don't know what you want to call this, but it's got some kind of a mixture, and so I have to mix it up. But this kind of looks like Marine Corps camis, so that's what the look I'm going for. Hey, Miss Lori. Hey, Miss Jerry. How are you? Thank you for painting the page. I appreciate that. So I've got all of my paint brushes over here. Now I was gonna just paint a scene, okay, with a flag and a um hey there, Texas Breeze Creations. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Y'all don't follow her, y'all need to. <laughs> so um I decided to do it out of wood instead of painting it on a canvas. So I had to cut my own because I couldn't find the the one from the Dollar Tree. Hey, Miss Be Becky, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. Um, so this isn't a perfect cross, but we're going to do the best we can with it. I did take a sander to it and, and kind of got off the little edges and stuff. And this is from also <clears throat> the Dollar Tree. <coughs> Good gracious. The Dollar Tree. And um, I'm looking for the... I just had it. Here it is, the sander, because this has a little rough edge right here, and I didn't notice it until just now. Good news from the surgeon, going for a left edge with cancer and six weeks radiation. Oh, my goodness. Well, I ha I'm glad that you're able to do that. Hopefully, that'll get rid of it. I'll be praying for you, Miss Jerry. Goodness gracious. I always go for my mammograms and everything to make sure... You know that I don't have any problems. I don't have any family history except my great aunt. She was older, so I don't really count her. Um, even though she did have uh, breast, the big C. But um, definitely do what you need to to get rid of that stuff, you know. And we'll be praying for you, that's for sure. All right, so these come, and they're kind of messy on the edges here, so I'm just kind of sanding that part off. And then um, we'll paint this. I don't know what color I should paint it, if it should be green, but I think maybe not. Maybe gray. I don't know. What do y'all think for this? And then this, I was thinking that we could put it like a flag, okay? Um, just like maybe part of the blue here and here, and then just do the rest of it, just stripes. Hey, Miss Linda from Florida, it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. No family history either, that's what shocked you. I bet, I know. You just don't know, but that's the reason why I have it checked every year, just in case. Okay, here's my little either marine or army guy with camis on so i've got that and i do need to find the peachy color for the face here we go <clears throat> for sure get checked everybody no matter how old you are it seems like you you know don't need to do that at a certain age but you almost do because you just never know. All right. So what I'm going to do is do the sides of the guy. I'm going to go ahead and do him green. Thank you for the hearts. Hey, Melissa. How are you doing, girl? Thank you for being here. So I've got kind of a smaller brush. And I'm going to take this green. And we're just going to go all the way around this with the green. It kind of looks like the Army Green or Marine Corps. So I'm just going to do it like that, and it kind of is a light color, but I just want to make sure it has some color on here. I had to mix this. It's really weird. I didn't, uh, it must have been sitting on the counter for a long time because it doesn't, 
cover very well. Hey, Vicki, how are you doing? Hey, Miss Pat. You get one yearly, so do I. Yeah, I'm glad you caught me. I did do a telegram. Now, Marie is going to try to come on here for a second just to say hello. She's cooking dinner, but we're trying to kind of get ready for Friday night pajama night with Craft Around the Clock. And she is supposed to be my partner. So, we're going to see if she can get on here. So, I'm going to see if she asks to be connected with us because I'm on the... Um, page, the other page, not my regular page. Here from Tennessee. Hey there, Janet. <clears throat> I'm in Tennessee too, but I'm in Bartlett right outside of Memphis. You're a breast cancer survivor, Miss Lori. Yes, definitely get your mammograms because they're very important. But I wanted to let y'all know that she is going to try to pop on. So hopefully y'all be able to see her. Because we got to be able to do it before Friday gets here. To try to figure it out. I might have to try it again tomorrow night if I can't do it tonight. We might have to do it on the regular page. I don't know if it'll work on the business part. Hey Diana. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> this is weird. It spit out some stuff like clear gel looking stuff. So I guess it's been sitting on the counter for a long time. So I didn't shake it up because normally I don't have to do that. This particular one and it's the right color too. I'm surprised that nobody's bought any. Let's see the green. Doesn't that look like Cammie's? Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's really bad. Let me make sure. There we go. Alright, it doesn't matter on the sides, but I just want to make sure that it's bright enough for when we do the actual outfit on the front. I kind of got some on there. You can kind of see it a little bit. She said she was going to give it a minute. <laughs> so I don't know when she's going to be popping on there. And I might change the hair color to brown on here, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole thing in the back of it green. Just because it's easier one color, you know. The same thing for the face. But he's going to be kneeling in front of the cross. And you know, most military guys, they are very religious <clears throat> anyway. At least I've noticed throughout the years. And they're very much for the United States, that's for sure. They wouldn't be risking their lives every day to keep our freedom. So, I'm always grateful to them. Hey, Miss Bonnie, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. I hope y'all got my telegram. I just thought I would come on a little early today. Your name is Becky, and you're from Nebraska. I don't even know if I have any people from Nebraska. It's good to see you. Bottle Creek Napkins. You know, I was looking at napkins today um, on Pinterest, and they had some that had different states on them. And I was thinking about getting some that had Tennessee on it and do some kind of craft with that. Okay, I've done all the sides, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do the back, even though this isn't very bright. Look at that. Let me see if I can do it with a bigger brush. <clears throat> that way it won't take as long on the back. i got to be a little bit more careful on the front because it's got to look prettier, right? So 
so we'll see. I appreciate you being here. And normally I'm on on 6 o'clock on, or 6.30 sometimes on, on Wednesdays. <laughs> and uh, thank y'all for welcoming her. But tonight I just decided to come on early and we'll just see what other people come on just like you. All right. So let me dry this portion, and this is the back. Gosh, it's not a very good coverage on that. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a good paint or not. It's an Americana color. You hear jets every day at the Air Force Base. Where do you live, Miss Bonnie? I forgot. get this good and dry so we can put it on the other side to be able to paint the front. Okay. Now, where did you find your soldier? I made him. I cut him out yesterday. I did it last night while I was um, watching a little TV. Let me try to shake this a little better. Seems like it's awfully wet instead of thick. Maybe it's just because I don't have it shaken. You liked your page? Oh, see you got a good follower there. That's awesome. All right, let me do the face real quick. And I got a little green in it, so I gotta be careful here. We're gonna go right in here. And this is either a marine, probably I'm gonna try to do a marine. Only because my ex-husband was a marine. And I don't know any army guys. I've got his ear right there. gonna go pull that up. And I may go ahead and do his face on this side. Maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to get in there. <laughs> yeah, y'all follow her if y'all like some napkins and stuff. Miss Pat said she has a good website there. A good page. All right, so there is his face, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and do his hand right here, just the top part. I can always go back if I want to fill it in. And we're just going to do the front. Both of his hands are kind of clenched together because he's down praying. Just like that. Okay, and he's got shoes on, so all of this is green except for his patches. And I think that I want to do this like a marine, <clears throat> which I can't remember what they look like. They have stripes. <laughs> I'm not sure, so <laughs> I might have to look that up afterwards and just leave that part blank. Because <laughs> I can't remember. I know it's like this. I don't know. Let me see. Let me get a pencil eraser here and erase this. And let's see if we can make it like this. I know that it's kind of like a V. And then it's another V. If they have like three of them, isn't that a Gunnery sergeant? Lord, I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't been married to a Marine in a long time. But this is what we're going to do. And I don't know if it's got something on the top of it or not. I was sitting here thinking about this on the way home. Remember when it looked like that? 
And there's something up at the top, though. I don't know what it is. In Tidewater, Virginia, there are tons of American heroes and all, of all branches. That's awesome. Hey, Diane, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. So what I'm going to do is take my little brush like this, and I'm going to do... Uh, the green in here. I might get a little bit bigger brush because I can't. This is too little. <clears throat> Not sure what their insignia looks like. I can't remember. Is there like a thing above it or is it green? I'm going to do it green for now. And then later I'll look it up and do it right. But since I didn't pay attention to that ahead of time, I don't remember. And I know my ex-husband is probably saying, what? <clears throat> and this may even be a staff sergeant and not a gunny. I can't remember. All right, so what I'm going to do is just kind of go in here. I've painted or drawn different lines. I'm going to try to keep those lines in there. And then we'll go back. Like for his arm, it's going to be different than his body. So, um, I'm going to do it like that. I should have painted him a hat that he's holding on to. But I didn't do that. I didn't think about it. So, I'm just going to kind of go around that. So, you'll still be able to see where his arm is. And it's easier. Two rifles under stripes for the sergeant. Is it with three stripes? Two rifles. That's right. It sure is. Now that you said that, gosh, wonder. I've got gray. We can do it with gray. Let me. <laughs> We're gonna get it, aren't we, girl? Let's see. And I've used it mostly for my elephant. <laughs> I should have bought more gray. Crossover three stripes. That's the sergeant or staff sergeant. I think he had three for a staff sergeant, two for a sergeant, regular sergeant. Come on. I just need a tiny bit. There we go. That's all I need. Now, this is the way I like my paint, all thick. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of go really close here to the edge and this is a flag right here I really don't know if Marines have a flag but there's a flag on here but we'll put I'm gonna do a green right behind here and in between and then we'll do the um, got the gray and put um, put the guns up there, or the whatever they're called. Let's see. So I want it to look like it's got green in the background. Let me see here. We're just going to make this look like a patch. To his arm. And then I'll go around it like this. So see how you can kind of see in between? That's what I'm going to do. We're just going to see what we can do. Not much difference in the two sergeants, but two hard to describe. I know it. I don't know what it is. My my ex-husband probably cringe. <laughs> but oh well, I'm doing the best I can here. Hey there, Sheila girl. How are you doing? Your little grandchildren are so cute. <laughs> I'm telling you. My little grandbaby, he's so adorable. I'm so excited, and Ella's so excited, too, for having a little brother. She's so protective. She said, Daddy, don't hurt him. 
But he wasn't hurting him. He's changing his diaper, and he just don't like that. So it's funny. I'm so glad. I'm doing well. Thank you. He is a sweetie, I can tell you. Gosh. I never knew what it was like to be a grandmother, and now I know. I can't wait to just hug his neck. He's too far away. The stripes point up. Oh, are you serious? I thought it was like this. Are you sure? They go the other way? Really? I like it this way better. <laughs> oh, is it really? Golly. wonder if I can do that with red. If I go over it with the green right now. God, I went the wrong way. No. Well, maybe I get... I'll change it in a minute. It is the best. You're looking at a picture? Well, you burst my bubble, Miss Pat. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to have to change it because i got to have it just right. Golly. <clears throat> Y'all know i got to try. God, that looks so good down swore it was down, but obviously not if she's found it. Right, let me get this in here. Okay. Darn. wonder if I, let me see if I can go over it. Yeah, it'll go over it. So maybe I won't have trouble going the other way. Golly. All right. Let me do it. <laughs> That's okay. I want it to be right. I know I'm changing the marine patches. Well, I like it better going down. All right, let me dry it so I can go over it with red. Let me see. I'm so disappointed. I thought for sure it was down. All right. Let me see here. Let me take the red and go up. Now watch. I'll say, yeah, that looks right. I don't remember it like that. Of course, I didn't pay that much attention. Let me see if I can get three on there. Why that doesn't do good right there. Okay. Is that better? I know y'all can't hardly see that. I might have to go a little bit with black underneath it. They're under the stripes. Oh, I've done it wrong again. All right, Pat. <laughs> hey, Marie. Are you going to try to come on? I'm messing up the marine thing here. Mm. All right, let me go over the whole patch. That way it's a little bit darker. And then it'll be a little bit easier. All right, see how that's a little bit darker? That way it looks like a patch. I'll have to go back and follow. You have to do it from your side. Okay, how do I do it? It doesn't show anything. I've got... Hmm. It doesn't show. I've got like a wand thing, a, turn, a flippy thing, a thing like that. That's wrong. And then a, a brighter thing. Ooh, it made me brighter. Baby Julius arrives. The, oh, how big was he, Miss Linda? I don't know how to do this. Let's see. Does it tell me? That's not it. 
Oh. And this, is that anything? No. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it on here. Let me see. Now, it won't do. Let me put that on, though, because that's better, isn't it? Eight pounds? Golly. My little pumpkin shrunk down to six pounds, and he was three pounds. Yeah, I will try, but I don't I don't know if it's um, because I'm on the business thing instead of actual Facebook. That's probably what it is, Marie. I don't know. Let me draw this patch because we don't want to mess up. I'm going to skip the patch right now. We're going to finish him up. And then I'll come back to that stupid patch <laughs> that I can't do. All right, let me get the bigger one so it's easier to do. The only thing is that I want it to be a little bit different. Yep, golly. Right in here is the shirt. And then we're going to go right to the edge here. So we know where the arm is. And then this is the leg. Right in there. Wow. I'm happy that you had your grandbaby. So our babies are close, close in age, just like a week apart. I'm going to get it kind of close in here, but not all the way because we want it to have a little bit of different color because it's just camis. I'm going to put some different greens in there, kind of bring it out a little bit. And these are their shoes, which aren't they black? I think they're black. Very close in age. Definitely. All right. So let me get him some brown hair. I didn't even think about that either. I know I have it because here it is. This is nutmeg. It's kind of, oh, ugh. where's my brown? <clears throat> hmm. I got some stuff covered up. Where is it here? That's nutmeg. That's right. Is it nutmeg? I don't know. Let me see. That's an okay brown. We'll do brown. I think he looks better with brown with all this this color on his uniform. And we're just gonna make him brown hair. This is what he looks like so far. <laughs> Thank you. Because my grandson had lost some weight. He's eating good, though. He's doing good. It's just they lose weight right after birth a little bit. And he can't fit into any clothes. And I gave some clothes to him, and they're not even fitting. He's, he's so cutie pie, that's for sure. I'm going to take a little bit of this and go right here around the ear and put some inside the ear. And then a little bit of an eyebrow. Right there. Your 
I'm here on the person and still no options. Yeah, it may be because I'm on that business part of it instead. Hey, Lolita, how are you doing? Thank you for sprinkling. <clears throat> I appreciate that. All right, let me get that little bitty brush. Where is it? That is flat, which it's right here. And we're going to try to do a little bit of brown on the edge. Just like this. Make his hands look more like hands. I'm glad you're doing well, Miss Lolita. Thank you for being here. Now, let me try to get a little bit this color. Doing a little bit of fingers. Let me get a little brown on the edges because it's too close. close to the edge all right that's his little hands so <laughs> thanks for the flags I'm going to try to do those two up here. Try is the optimal word here. Here's the dark. I've got some hunter green and I have this other green, which is shamrock green. And it might be dark enough. Now my fingernails are so little because I cut them all down. Let me see if this is dark enough. Actually, that other is dark enough, but too dark. <clears throat> Let me see. I gotta have a little bit because we gotta make it look a little bit better on his outfit. So it's a little darker with hunter green. And I don't have any other green. Not like darker than this. So we'll see. I don't like that though. I wonder if we just use black. Just go on the edges. Where's my black? Here it is. Way over here. You cut off your nails too? I had to because I was either splitting them or something. I don't know what's wrong with my nails, but they don't do real well sometimes. So I had to do it. Oh, come on. It's got a, a boogie. Yeah. Sometimes I have to cut it. And so I cut them almost down to the bottom. It's terrible. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to like the black better. I don't like this green at all, this other one. I like the color that it's already on there, but not, not the, maybe the dark brown. Maybe that's better because black may be too severe. Let me look. Hmm. Maybe. What do y'all think? Too severe? Ugh. Where's my dark brown? Everything but what I need. Hmm.
I need dark brown. This it. Hey, Sandra Green, how are you? There is black in one of the pictures you saw. Yeah, and it might be black. I'm gonna try a little brown. If it'll let me have it. I'm gonna see. It just seems like it's too dark. Yeah, this, this looks a little better. I don't know if I can fix that black. Let me try to cover it with the green again. Maybe if I do just a really light bit. See, kind of like that. It covers up some of it. I don't know. Let's just see. We get the edge of it. We're just going to go with it. This is a terrible brush. <laughs> Where is a good one? There's another newer one. Let me see. try this. I don't know if I like this thing up here. I feel like it's right on top of me. Okay. I kind of like the darker better because it looks a little less severe. And this is the, um, what do you call that? Uh, burnt umber. That's the darkest brown. Yeah, I might, might save the emblem until last so I can look exactly what it looks like. Okay. See, that way it looks a little better. This looks a little dark. So I'm going to try to go back over it with a little green and see if I can tone that down a little bit. Because I do like it, the brown, because it's not so severe that way. And this is a lot better with this brush. That other brush was a hot mess. The lines of the shirt look a lot better, see? It looks like it's supposed to be like that, I think. That's just me. Just got to do a little bit at a time. This is going to look good. As long as I kind of get... Kind of get the, the flag and everything right. Okay. So that's like that. And I'm going to go around that that darker green right there just with this brown just to make it look a little bit better I'm gonna try to keep everything in there and then that way it kind of looks like a patch <laughs> always make the right call I don't know if I always do but I try I think the dark brown's the better. That's for sure. We're going to go on the outside of it with the dark. Just like I always do. And then we'll go. I do need some black, but not for this part. And you want the dark right up here. Kind of like that. 
See, he's looking more like it. Looks like army green. It is. It's either army or um, a marine. I was trying to make a marine. My ex-husband was a Marine once upon a time. Okay. I'm getting there. think they have boots that are black. I'm going to make black boots because that's just what I'm thinking. Of course, they're covered up with their clothes. So I'm just going to do the best I can here. So, so far, just like that. Let me get the black out of there. No, we were station, stationed in Hawaii for one tour. He got out shortly after that, and so we didn't go anywhere else. I didn't really care for the military life at all. Your dad was a career army man. Ah, okay. Good. Then we can do it from there, Marie. Alright. Let's see. I want to do this at the bottom. Alright. And let me see. I think it needs a little white. All right, let me try to do the, here's my little bitty brush. Now, what did I do with that? Here it is. So after your live, we can try, yeah, we'll do it. How long were you married? I was married like 13 years, not that long, really. Then we divorced. We married in 1986 and we divorced in 2000. So almost 14 years. We married in December. December 3rd of 1986 when I graduated high school. So I just would never... My children didn't do that. So I'm awfully envious of them. I don't feel like I had enough life before. All right, so let me see, a little bit of black. Hey there, Jessica. How are you? 13 years is an eternity. You're so funny, Marie. Are you kidding? I know it feels like it when you're married. That's so funny. All right.
Okay, so there he is, just right there. As a child, army brat. He lived in Japan and France outside of the United States. Wow. I would have liked to have gone to Japan because I could have, I guess. I did want to go to Hawaii, so we did. All right, let me try to do the flag. And I'm going to do it the way our flag is, so... Let me do this. I'm determined to do these things. So I'm doing a blue up here in the corner. And then we're going to get the white and then do the red. Because we've got to do the red on the other. And I've also got to do gray. What did I do with the gray? Is that the gray? <laughs> Maybe I need to do gray with black and, uh, black and, and white. You hit the wrong sticker. It's okay. I didn't catch it. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the... Hmm. It's supposed to be at the bottom, you said, right, Miss um, Miss Pat? Now, I don't know what it, what it looks like, but this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. So, does that look like them? That's going to be good enough, right? Let's just hope. All right, so that's the good enough. The rifles are at the bottom of the stripes. Okay, that's what you said. Hey, Miss Gloria. Thank you for painting the page. All right, so I'm going to get white first to do the white in the flag. So we're going to do red. Well, we'll start with a white. I don't know the way it is, but we're going to do white first because I want to cover that up. And then we'll do the red. I'm determined. All right. So there's the stripes. Now we got to do the red and do the um, red stripes on the patch. So we're going to see we can do that. Let me make sure that's dry or we're going to have pink. <laughs> pink stripes. <laughs> that's all I need. Whee! Okay. That ought to be enough. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like it. Thank you for painting the page. So we're going to do reds. So we got to get a little bitty line through here. We'll keep going. Going all the way to the edge. Right in here. Let's hold our breath. And I'm going to do one more on the bottom. I didn't do too bad. It almost looks like I needed one less stripe there, but that's okay. So that's that. I'm going to get white for the stars, but I'm going to do dots is what I'm going to do. Because it's going to be really hard getting stars, so that's as good as it gets right there. You're loving it. I hope, I hope it looks good. We're going to see, aren't we? All right, let's see. I'm going to do the red again, and we're going to try this for the third time because Miss Pat pointed out that the stripes need to be pointed up. So let me see. One. I'm going to do them real thin first, and then I'll do them thicker. Yeah, now that I'm doing them, they do look like they ought to go that way. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. This is pretty good. I'm going to show y'all as soon as I get done with the stripes. Okay. So how does that look? Is that okay? <laughs> I'm making you laugh, Miss Bonnie. Well, he looks okay to me. You think I ought to go around the flag with a black line or leave it like it is? I think he looks good. He looks pretty good. We're going to do it that way. Thank you, Miss Lolita. If she thinks it's good, we're good. All right, what I'm going to do is take this bigger brush because it will be easier to do. I'm going to take part of this and part of this and do the blue. So I'm going to take it all the way to the edge. We'll worry about the sides later. We're just going to worry about this right now. I'm kind of going to do it on an angle. Nailed the stripes. Yay! Yay, yay. I'm trying to get close here, and I kind of want a little bit of this. I don't know why, but I just do. So, we're going to do it this way. Let's see. I'm going to try to go down just a tad right here. I don't know why I want to do this. Let me see if I can do it. Okay. All right, so this is the way it's going to be right there, okay? That's weird looking. But we're going to take the red and we're just going to go across, I guess, or sideways. There's a little yellow border around the flag patch. A yellow border. Well, yellow it is then. wonder what that means. Oh my heavens, come on. Okay, so there's the yellow patch. Yay! All right, so let me see. Get that out of the water. And we're going to take this. I don't know. Should I go to the side? I think I want to go to the side. Let me just see. We're just going to go this way. I'm going to make a mess because it's got too much water on it. Let me get some of it out. There we go. All right. And then I'm just going to go down this way a little bit. I want it to be about the same size as this. So let's go a little bit up higher. It doesn't matter. I don't guess. Now, this is just me doing my own thing here. So we're just flying by the seat of our britches. Alright, so far it looks like that. Okay, that's kind of how I wanted it to the side a little bit. And I'll worry about the sides later, but we'll get this, this part done. Let's 
isn't perfect by any means. But I'm not a perfect girl. All right. So there's all those stripes, okay? And we could... Thank you, Lynn, for those stars. Hey, Maureen. How are you? Let me get this over here. That's what I do all the time. Fly by the seat of my pants. Yeah, me too. A good bit of time. All right. So let me get the red. And we want to dry this because we don't want pink. And then I'll do another coat of the blue. And I'll do this on the sides and everything. Ooh, it's hot. Thing will sting. All right, so I'm going to take this and we're just going to go right in here. All right, so there's one. I'm doing well. Good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Get it straight right there. Oh, come on, Tanya. Come on. You can do it. All right. Now I'm going to do this this way because it's just, I don't want to get it off of that area right there. There we go. So there's the second one. Ooh, I almost put it in the white. There's that one. <laughs> Perfectly imperfect. That's for sure. At least it looks like a flag, sort of. Man, I got one more. right there. A little bit on that. Okay. So now that's what that looks like. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> like You like original art? All right. So let me dry this. Let me get my hand out from under there. What color do y'all think? the bottom should be, and I got to do this one little corner here. Hmm. Wait a minute. This has got a bubble right here. All right, let me fix this right here. Didn't even see that. And this right here is bothering me. Okay. That's okay. Grass green. Oh, that's a good idea. Hey, Billy Joe. How are you? All right, let me get this good and dry. I'm going to kind of make it look a little darker by putting a little bit of something right there. I guess a little bit of the um, stain to kind of give it a little bit of old look. And yeah, maybe that green I didn't like for this part, you think? Let me see. Let me get all of that red out of there. 
let me see, like that. Hey, Joanne, it's good to see you. Yeah, let me see, because that's probably, that looks pretty good. I don't have enough of it on my paper, but. Mmm, which one is it? Is it this one? I think it's the shamrock. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> oh, no. Is it the hunter green? Mm, I think it's the hunter green. Maybe we can put some of each. Make it look like grass. So. Now, I am going to take the drill and drill a hole through here and hold this down. Oh, I got some on my arm. But I'm not going to do it on a live. Because I just don't want to accidentally do something. I already have a bad looking fingernail. That I feel like it's never going to get ready to come off. It's trying to grow me another one. I don't know. That's a different green, so maybe this will work. Let me see. Almost to the end here. I don't know. What do y'all think? Does it look like grass? Kind of? Let me see about this one. Ooh, it's kind of... I don't know. Yes? Okay, good. Good! All right, just a tad bit more of this. Let me, where's that brush that's the crappy brush, remember? Let me see. And I do know that I want a little bit of black. I know that sounds weird, but we want a little bit of darkness under him. Alright. So I just put a little bit right there so it looks like underneath him. Let me a little bit more like that. Okay. So let me get some brown because I want to do a little bit more brown on this. And let me just use this brown instead of using stain. We're just going to do a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go right here. Right up above the red. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Let's see. We're going to make this sort of brownish instead of whitish. 
Let me see if I like it. Just a little. Mostly, mostly wipe it off. Just want a little bit. I just don't want it to be white. <laughs> white, white. more like that and then I'm going to take some little stars and we're going to put those on if I can find my little pointy brush I lose it every time you like the shade okay good so let me get the black not black white <clears throat> what am I thinking all right I'm going to get a little bit better white because anytime we have to do something really pointy or whatever like eyes say I am. Let me get a thing to poke the end of it with. That's not it. Here's the white. It gets stuck. I should be wiping it off in between, but I guess I don't. Alright, so there it is. And then we're just going to do little stars like this. They're not going to be perfect either. I'm just trying to put them all over so they're kind of even. Hear a little girl outside my window. And I do want to try to make those a little dark too. I'll we'll just put a little bit. Hey there, Sharon Bennett. How are you doing? Hey, Jackie. Thank you for being here. All right, let me try to make them look a little yucky. That's got green in it. That ain't going to work. do is just wipe it off. I'm just gonna, oh lord, wasn't supposed to look like that. Alright. I want the blue to kind of look it too, so. There we go. That looks good. So let me see, let me move this out of the way. Let me dry this little thing. Cause they will sit here, but I want to drill a hole on the bottom side. Now I'm gonna get, there's one little thing right here. There. I'm going to go all the way around it. That little spot had some little strings. It just doesn't want to get off of there. 
All right, that way it looks a little different. I don't know where this needs to be. Oh, it's got some red on the bottom. Look what I did. Come here, little booger. And before I do any drilling or anything, I'll finish this out so it'll be on the, uh, you know, on the side. All on every side. So, I wanted the dude to be on this side, but really I guess he should have been here. Let me just do a black line all the way across. That way it doesn't matter where he's at. Thank you, Maria. Still got some white on there too. Draw that. The red is attacking me tonight. I know it is, isn't it? All right. So what about this? Let me move this. How does that look? Is that good? Thank you, Joanne. Perfect, Lynn. Thank you. Woo! Poor dude fell off. Yeah, but I will get him on there. We probably can do a little bit of hot glue. Let me fix this. Let me do that. Just for this, anyway. It would run out right as I'm trying to get it on the edge here. All right. Now, he'll stay for the time being. And then just do it kind of at an angle right here is what I'm thinking. Thank you, Diane. So I like it. So once I paint it all and everything and then screw it up from the bottom, then it should be fine. You like it, Miss Bonnie? Thank you. So that's the way I've got it. See how it is? Kind of at an angle, and he's at an angle. Will look good when the cross is distressed. Thank you so much. It touches your heart. Thank you. But I'm going to um, finish it up. And fix it a little bit better, but that's the way it's going to be. You like it? Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. I'm glad everybody likes it. I just thought it would be kind of cool. I just had to make my own, though, because I couldn't find my Dollar Tree one. But that's okay. Thank goodness I can cut it out, right? I looked everywhere and couldn't find it. Thank you, Miss Jerry. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will be on on Friday. Um, it's 645 Central for our pajama party. Marie and I are going to be live together and we'll both be doing a craft. So it's to celebrate 50,000 on Craft Around the Clock and I hope you'll be there. And uh, Saturday I'm going to have an auction at 3 p.m. Central and hope you'll be there for that. So I appreciate you being on here tonight, and I hope y'all have a good evening, okay? <laughs> Sonic Tanya. Oh my goodness. Y'all have a good night, y'all. Thank you for being here.
Thank you for the hearts, too. Bye.